Himari defeats Yachio. The cis complex is done. Yachio technically, I guess, really cared about Himari, even though she's a she's a terrible sister. But the battle isn't over yet. There's multiple fights going on. And if Tank is gonna fight too, oh, this gonna be good. But I don't think we're just there yet. We got that sleepy blonde girl versus Hushu, right? Let's begin today's reaction. They're physically demanding, yes. The fan service. Wait, Hushu wants some too? Round two. She's not that blonde. She's kind of orangish blonde anyways. Why is she always so sleepy? Also, isn't she like a non-combatant? Like she's straight up like a... Like she doesn't go out to fight, right? Wasn't that explained in like the hot spring scene? Wait, why was Shushu jealous there? Was it the titty size? Wait, she was happy, happy? I think it's the bus size, right? She fucking went like this. And then the bus size showed up. I think Shushu feels a little insecure there. Oh. Interesting that, that Shushu is not fighting with Yuki, huh? Only Himari did. I mean, we didn't train with Shushu, but... Like, they could technically, right? <laughs> hey, Kurumi's our fucking cheerleader! <laughs> no abilities? Just raw hand-to-hand? -hand? <laughs> yeah, we should've just made this mud wrestling, bro. We should've made this mud wrestling. Jesus, just straight up wrestling. Oh, I see. This is way better than just hand to hand combat. Like, if we're just like grappling and throwing people around like this, mm, incorporating the fan service into the combat, I see. Is it just me or is the animation right now kind of fucked? Like, look at the lines, right? As soon as they started fighting, like, this is better than CGI, I guess, but it looks like it's an incomplete art, right? Am I crazy, guys? Like, you know, you notice that too, right? Like, look at the shading and the lines. It feels like incomplete. <laughs> Wonder if that's like an actual art artistic uh, uh, direction to not do CGI. All right. Three? Use what? Wait, what? How many will she use? How many do you think she'll do? What? Really? It's a short match? <laughs> well, here's the thing though, right? Because if this is a battle of three, right? Yachiho, you know, she's gonna fight and then Tenka. So isn't it like best first one to two? So if we already won the first match, logically, Shushu should lose so that it goes to the Tenka versus Kyoka fight. And then that's the, the, the deal breaker, right? All right, what does she do? Crazy sheep, but it says mad sheep. Three! Three what? Rock, paper, scissors? What the fuck is going on? She just says, I'm gonna use three! That's what Diachio and Tenko is talking about. She gets into Super Saiyan mode. She just fucking plays rock, paper, scissors by herself. What do you want? Crazy sheep, what does it do? Booster string. So she says a multiplier and then she becomes that much stronger. Huh. Huh. What's the cap? Can she say 100? The shorter the time amount, of time a lot of the stronger she gets. So she could do like, okay, it says one minute minimum though, right? So the strongest could be like 10. It goes for one minute or some shit. Interesting. Interesting power. She just straight up says the number though. Ugh. Are we outmatched? Is her skills better than ours? Fuck. She is just a huge target. And this is only three, man. Like, what about four and beyond? I think Shushu's gonna lose. Look at this tiny little thing. Uh oh, backstory? Shushu always wants like a girlfriend? It means three minutes? What the fuck? I thought it was like a factor of the multiplier. And then the three, I mean, I guess that kind of makes more sense than like giving like a, I don't know. She said a number. It says multiplying power, but then it's like the shorter the duration, the stronger it could be. So what's she quantifying? The time or the multiplier? I guess three minutes makes more sense because in, in, in like um, indirectly you are confirming that you are like three minutes sounds pretty short, right? Compared to like compared to like five minutes. So I think that time 
probably it is the time because then that kind of explains the duration of the time and you can also kind of imply how much stronger she's gotten right yeah one should be strongest yeah are you interested in some girl then what do you want shushu so because you're bored you decided to risk your life to fight the mato sorry the 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 the, 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 the monsters hey is that a valid motivation? I guess it is. You're just bored. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> like, I feel like they should take this a little bit seriously, man. So she just wants basically Yuki's attention. All right, let's see it. Oh, we turned to CGI. Go bigger and go home. Literally. Just sit on her. Just literally sit on her. Please, me. Please, me. Rest. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And then. Damn, she's lifting us up, though. Is three minutes almost up? Oh. 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 I mean, she's probably strong, right? She can take that, right? She <laughs> Yo! We won? We win? She did? <laughs> that's kind of fucked up how she did that. No, that's not fucked up. Yachio was literally shooting a gun at us. And it doesn't matter if she takes damage here because it's of the barrier. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I think a countdown like fucking WWE. Nah, she should get up, right? Ah, shit. She's up. She's powering up even more, dude! Super Saiyan 2! What is it? If she loses consciousness... Oh, fuck. But what about the three-minute cooldown after she uses it for three minutes? I... Okay, she's basically cracked right now. Okay. That's unfair! Okay. Titties incoming. Titties incoming. The nipples are about to be showing gigantic nipples. Where is it? Where is it? I missed something there. I missed something there. Tenka's monologue. Allies are like two. It's her secret. So, losing con- Oh, that's why she was being all sleepy all the time. It's not just like a random running gag. It's like losing consciousness while her power is active gets her into this state. So she could just not just be knocked out like that, but literally just falling asleep would allow her to do that too. Oh, okay, okay. Shushu? That's kind of bullshit, right? I think Shushu should have won, but at the same time, because we got the first win and because this is like best out of three, right? It doesn't make sense for Shushu to win now, right? It makes sense for Shushu to lose, do well, but some bullshit happens for her to lose so that Tenka versus Kyoka can happen, right? To determine like the best out of three. You didn't do shit, Yachiho. You didn't do shit, Yachiho. <laughs> what about the nipples though? Are they showing? Uh-oh, uh, -oh. uh there it is. This is why we're on kick right now, or we would have been banned. Live banned on Twitch. You think you did well. It's not fair. That was unfair. You literally won, and then she fucking gets back up and fucking... Like, what does that mean? She can never just be defeated? Because she's unconscious right now. If you knocked... She's already knocked out. The only way you beat her is to kill her or, like, push her out of the barrier. What the fuck? Oh, I feel bad. No, she, she just wanted to get, like, you know, Yuki's acknowledgement. No. Yes, we saw your gigantic titties too. I'm sorry. Dude, this is so sad. Yuki, go in there. Uh, are we gonna get a little Yuki Shushu scene? Here comes a Riz. <laughs> you thirsty? <laughs> you know, Himari was pretty thirsty. I don't have that ability. I'm sorry. But. Yeah, you were pretty cool. You got super big and you kind of won, but her bullshit passive activated. <laughs> More of the wrestling? I mean, it was wrestling. <laughs> oh, oh, the Riz worked? Here we go, fan service. What's she going to do? 
Oh, oh, she wanted to get a kiss in too. Have we gotten killed because of kisses? I think we did, right? In like the first episode or something? Jeez, them, them dogs are around. Because, <laughs> you know, Himari got one. Kyoka got one. I feel like Shishi should get one too, right? Cap, cap, she's lying. She really just wants a boyfriend, huh? Huh? I mean, that flashback pretty much said it, but... Right, Nei is all about, like, vision and doing, like, um, scouting. Oh, wait, who are those two? Hold up! Oh! Who is that? Battle begins now. Got a little mark on her tongue, too. She broke her alarm clock. <laughs> Wait, Shushu has so many alarm clocks. Look at this shit. One, she broke. Two, three, four, five, six alarm clocks going at the same time. Jesus. Yeah, there's like two girls out to get us. What is that? Okay, I thought we we're gonna get right into the tanker fight, but no. Bear is too good. Unless the other girls will break the bear. No, you should never say that. You're jinxing yourself. This bear is about to be broken. Humanoid. Who the fuck? Humanoid. The voice actor sounds funny. Who the fuck? This guy is huge. So humanoid of uh, Shuki, huh? But we saw other humanoid forms too, which were the waifus. So is this the male equivalent of our sister form, right? Humanoid, right? Humanoid Shukis. I'm not really sure, but maybe a little bit of the similarities there. Are we gonna see Tenka fight? No, Tenka fight! Ah. All right. Not gonna lie, I don't give a fuck about random CGI Shuki fights. They mean nothing to me. Let me get a taste of that boo too. See, one kiss and it's all good. Let's go, Super Saiyan girl. Not them? Not you. He's looking for someone. He buddy! Yachiho save! See, Big Sis cares? Maybe he's sent by our sister. He's looking for our sister? Uh, sorry, our brother, Yuki, right now? Where's Yuki? Yuki, where you at? Time travel, yep. See how much Yachio cares about Himari? Alright, there's Yuki. He double ride? <laughs> two people at the same time? Three some? <laughs> we did a three some? Oh, we're gonna get two girls riding us. Oh, oh. oh. Uh, oh, oh. Alright. Wait! Oh! Because other girls got different forms. But if you combine two girls... Wait, 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 wait. Never thought about that. Oh, shit. More girls at the same time, the better it is. <laughs> Yo, get Shushu involved too. So both properties in one, the speed form and the normal form in one. Eternal Chain Slave. War Cloud. Where did we get that drip? Whoa! Eternal Chain Slave War Cloud, basically new form. How much more powerful are we? And oh shit, the reward! It's a threesome re- it's literally a threesome reward because both girls- Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> Grand break- okay, Howling Blast, new attack! Basically just super hyper beam. Imagine three masters at the same time! Tenka! They have her! How cracked is Tenka? Come on, show me her powers! Cause she just opens a gate and that's it. What does she actually do though? She just looks like all utility, you know? What can she do? <laughs> she's simping, right? Cause she loves it. Well, she's a non-combatant too. Wait, Nene can watch, right? 
Yeah. Okay, interesting ability. If we just like kind of touch Nene when she's doing this, we can see it too. Come on, show me Tenko fighting. <laughs> she is the biggest simp for them, man. That's right. Gotta use the Peach's powers to kill the the the, the, the Shuto or something, the Shuki. Why? That's the, she's exception. All she's doing is swinging a fucking sword in front of a waterfall. How does she allow it? How does it allow to do that? How? I think that like. It's not that you need the Peach's power. It's just that the Peach's power grants you offensive abilities to attack, you know, regular Shuki. But like she, but if you could be strong enough to swing a sword like that, then you too can do damage to Shuki. So I thought like there was like a, a fundamental difference between attacks imbued by the Peach's powers. But no, it's, it's just more like Kyoka's just built different. She just fucking swung a sword so many times. She's basically like a master samurai that can cut through Shuki. But she has no Peach powers? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Jesus Christ. Hold up. Before that. Does she not have Peach powers then? What, what, what is her power, actually? Because all she does is swing her fucking sword. She never ate a Peach then? Is that... Her Peach power slave... Well... I thought everyone could do the slavery part, right? I mean, fucking Himari did it too. I, I don't... I'm kind of confused. It's, the, the slave transform is her Peach power, though. Right, right, episode- I forget the details. Episode 1, she was talking about how her skill was actually fucking useless. Right, right, right. She was talking about skills useless, but technically, no. She just hasn't met, met the right person yet. Right, 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 right. And he might have copied her, and that's why she could do it, right? He might have copied, that's why she can do it. Nene and, like, others, like, Shushu, they can't do the same thing, but he might can copy. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Little details, I forget. Like that. Oh, no nipples there, though. So Gregor still put the dogs on them. You never know what could happen, man. I'm surprised they didn't actually put nipples here, man. They usually would do that. Isn't this a fucking Food Wars reaction? Don't people like eat food and just like strip naked in that show too? Alright. But show me Tenka's power. Zawardo! Tokyo Tomare! I love how she has to pose every time. She's using a lot of golden power though, isn't she? Legs! Legs! Put that leg up! Yeah! <laughs> Yo! I was... I can't... I can't do that sh I... I... This is... Ow! Ow! No, I'm not doing that. I'm not, I'm not trying that. I'm not trying that shit. I... I'm trying... I ain't even trying. How the fuck is she doing that, dude? <laughs> And there, my armor's good. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Yachio's outmashed, man. The humanoids are pretty legit, huh? Oh, he's all warmed up now. Tenka! Tenka! Where are you? Tenka, Tenka, Tenka. They are drawing the scene out so long! How did you show up? Because technically she opens like gates and she clearly has some kind of space manipulation techniques, right? But how does she use the offensively, you know? Also, the humanoid's a female? My bad. My bad. Like, how are you gonna tell me that's a female? Come on! How? You... Like, how could I ever have known that this humanoid is a female? That's unfair, man. That's fucking unfair. Oh, you already took them out? What'd you do? Tenka, what'd you do? Blue flames. Blue flames. She can do that? Blue flames? What is this? Some like Amaterasu shit? Like infinite, infinite flames? But you didn't show me you off screen it! Another two officer level humanoids. You must be one of them. Don't give me a cliffhanger! Don't give me a cliffhanger! Don't do it! Please! Please! Come on! No! Don't do it! Don't do it! No! This is not fair. This is not fair! United Front Tenka Sore. Dude, next episode is gonna be insane. Now, this episode, yes, there was a bit of a uh, Shushu and, you know, the Sahara fight, but that's not really the focus, right? I feel like Shushu's kind of getting played dirty. She, she lost, but 
I mean, like, because we already won the first one, right? It doesn't really make sense for us to win again because then the exclusive match would be over. So I expected Tenka versus Kyoka. What I didn't expect was this to be happening. So besides the humanoid, there's also two more people outside. There's like the... Uh, there's like a lolly looking girl with the tongue print and then there's like a Herculean like uh, Amazon is looking one, right? So there's two girls out there too, but Tenka's popping off. Tenka is fucking popping off and dude, what is her ability? Do we know what it is? I, all she does is like open gates, but at the same time, blue flame. Amaterasu? What is this? An unquenchable fucking flame? Who knows, man? But next episode should be fucking insane and yes, yeah, that's right. The threesome reward. Maybe Tank could get on board too, but that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content, and I'll until next time, take care.